Alright guys, so we're back with another trade-in video. Uh, this is some video game stuff that somebody sent me in via my website, jrobgaming.com. Basically, I have a trade-in service where you can uh, send me a list of what you have and I'll tell you how much I can pay for it. Everything gets resold on my site, jrobgaming.com. Like I said, got consoles, games, that sort of thing. Got a ton of stuff that I still need to list, but go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Let's go ahead and open this up. I think we have some cool stuff in here. I think there's an, uh, a Jungle Green N64 console, as well as a NES Classic... Uh, Maybe a Wii? Not sure. I go through so many of these things that I honestly don't remember what each person sends in until I open it up. All right, so let's get this bad boy open. See what we got inside. Hopefully we got plenty of bubble wrap. All right, so first of all, I see some bubble wrap on top, which is good to see. Not a whole lot inside, so hopefully nothing got banged up. Um, got an N64 controller, and this thing feels real grimy. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, feels like it's been sitting around for a while. The uh, joystick is not great either. It's not the worst I've seen, but definitely loose uh it's the cool atomic purple i think it's called so that's cool uh we got a dreamcast controller this one looks pretty good um even got your little vmu in the back here which seems to be stuck in there there we go all right cool so that looks pretty good then we've got a few games here we've got call of duty ghosts for the ps3 let's check out the condition there i think those are just smudges not sure we'll try to clean that up a bit we've got something in here Got Motorstorm for the PS3. This game came with a bunch of PS3 consoles, so there's a lot of these, a lot of this game out there. We also have Spider-Man 3 for the PS2. Uh, Spider-Man games actually go for a decent amount now. Oh, that one looks not so great. Probably need to get that disc cleaned up with my resurfacing machine. Then we have a Wii here in the box. Got an N64, got a Dreamcast. Ooh, and there's no bubble wrap between those, so I really hope it didn't get smashed up. Dreamcast controller looks good though. Man, yeah, you really wanna put some bubble wrap there. Got one more controller. Another Dreamcast controller looks like a third party one. That's actually pretty cool looking. It's a uh, clear and everything. Nice. Now we've got our Dreamcast down here. Let's see what this looks like. So this one looks pretty good. I don't see anything smashed up or anything. Looks good. And then the N64, I really hope it looks good. And it has a little bit of actually it does look pretty good i was scared it was gonna be cracked on top but it actually does look really good it's got some scratches probably from the dreamcast but overall not bad and let's see what we got in here got a jumper pack it looks like but this is a really neat console the jungle green is a pretty special color it goes for a good bit more than the uh, just the regular gray one got a few more games down here got some original xbox games digimon 4 i don't know these look games look pretty grimy so <laughs> I'm guessing they have a lot of scratches. Yeah, look at that. They've got Doom 3. Again, this game looks pretty grimy. I mean, not terrible, but I don't know. I'll have to test it out, make sure it works. Robotech. We'll see. Check out this one. That one looks like smudges mostly, I think. And last but not least, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. And if you guys want any Xbox games, I have a ton for sale on my site. Whoa, that's got a lot of scratches. Definitely need to resurface that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got tons of games. Uh, Xbox original Xbox games for sale on my site. They might not, they actually might not be up there yet, but I have a ton that are gonna go up there at some point. So Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter for the PS2. I don't know why all these games feel so grimy. I have to clean them up. Um, that one looks like it's just smudges and stuff that we can clean up. So calm U.S. Navy SEAL combined assault. At least these games are complete. It's good to see. This one's not as bad. Probably need to clean that up with some spray and stuff. And we have a few uh, Sega CD things down here. So we got Sonic CD, got the disc. Disc looks not too bad. I see a few scratches. Hopefully it's all good. And we have Mad Dog McCree. <laughs> Can hardly even get that one open. Let's see what that looks like. About the same. And then we've got Rebel Assault Star Wars. Cover is missing. I don't even have a Sega CD player to try these out on. <laughs> uh, we got some cords down here. Um, AV cords, power cord, and as you can see, got our NES Classic over here on the side. Let's take a look at that. Uh, box looks pretty banged up, but it's, at least it's still in the box. And here inside, we've got a third-party controller. Interesting. We've got some cords. Um, those look like HDMI cord, power cord. Of course, you got your actual NES Classic down here. And then there's only one controller in here. So that's interesting. There's one controller that came with it and then it also came with this my arcade thing which has something rattling around inside of it not sure what that is all right well hopefully that works 
We also have a uh, power brick here for the N64. And then I'm gonna take these two boxes out and we'll take a look at those. So here's a smaller box. Not sure what's in here, but we are about to find out. All right, so in here we got, looks like another controller. And, okay, so we have some sort of wireless controller. I'm not sure if this is used for the Wii or what. And this might be our other NES, nope, it's just another random NES looking controller, 8-bit dough. Not sure what you use that for. We've got Star Wars Demolition for the Sega Dreamcast. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. Yeah, that one actually looks pretty good. Sega Classics. We've got Night Trap. We've got uh, Marvel vs. Capcom for the Dreamcast. Star Wars Jedi Powers Battles for the Dreamcast. An interesting case. That one got some scratch. It doesn't look terrible. Spec Ops Stealth Patrol for PS PS1. Madden 04 for the PS1. This one is sealed. Oh, that's that's cool. I haven't seen a sealed PS1 game in a while. And that one looks like it's not broken or anything, so that's cool. We've got Mega Man Legends for the PS1. Case is broken, of course. These these jewel cases suck, man. On all the old games. And we have Madden 64 is actually completely boxed here, I think. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty neat. Got the full box, Madden 64. Got your manual and <laughs> What are these other inserts are that's pretty cool and then a couple more things in here we got madden 95 for the super nintendo and also we have sonic 3d blast for the sega saturn and there's the game i do not even have a sega saturn right now might need to buy one and last but not least we have our wii console in the box so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what's inside all right so first of all we actually have some games in here we've got wii sports resort just the disc we've got deck of sports and we have Zelda the Twilight Princess not complete but you got the game oh that one does not look great <laughs> actually there's one more in here we got Harvest Moon Magical Melody and then if we just slide everything out we can see what's inside all right so here we go we got two nunchucks power cords and everything sensor bar uh, two controllers which don't look too bad and then we have our console here and this is one of the OG consoles that has the GameCube ports, which is good to see. It's a bit dirty, but we can clean that up some. It actually looks like it's attracted some of the blue from the box, which is interesting. All right, so there you go, guys. Pretty good lot of stuff. Uh, it is kind of grimy, but we'll clean it up before we sell it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you got anything to trade in, uh, go to my website, jrobgaming.com. also sell all this stuff on there as well if you want to check any of it out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.